and lovelies. I hope we're all shining, thriving, and giving ourselves some love today. I am coming at you this week with a Christmas kind of weekday video thing. I tried to record a video, a Q&A, to upload this week. Hello, darling. Moon wants to be in the video. Basically, I tried to record a Q&A this week, and to be honest with you, I'm just feeling super overwhelmed and anxious. I don't think the news is helping, and to be honest with you, I always find Christmas week quite stressful because you have to get those last minute bits, you've got plans every day, and yeah, it's just manic, isn't it really? I decided to instead record this week, which will just be like a Christmas kind of week with me, wrapping Christmas presents, getting organised, and then I might film some of Christmas Day as well. Oh, excuse you! <laughs> so I thought I'd start recording tonight because it's a cosy night in, we're literally having like children's food, fish fingers, beans and chips, and I'm going to wrap my Christmas presents. But looking at the time now, it's six o'clock and Tom's gonna be home in about 20 minutes, half an hour, all being well. I'm gonna wrap his Christmas presents first. And the good thing about doing this video and not uploading it until Tuesday, it'll be after Christmas. So I can actually show you some of the stuff I've got. Yes, my dog is so needy. You're the neediest little doggy. <laughs> right, this is my situation at the moment. I went to Next in Matalan today. So I've got some bits here and this is kind of Tom's bag and then some I've already wrapped. My plan is to put you guys here while I do some wrapping and organizing and I'll talk you through what I've got. These are my Christmas Day pajamas, but I'm wearing them now to wear them in. Anyone who bought TP pajamas, thank you so much. We love you a lot. But one of my first presents that I've got Tom, one that I haven't wrapped, is a silicone ring. Tom's a farmer and the health and safety things with wearing your wedding ring to work is not ideal. So I saw that the Red Shepherdess had one of these and I got it and I don't know whether I'll be able to show you, but I got it engraved with a T and J. I don't think you'll be able to see, how sad. Anyway, it says T and J in the inside and I just got a black one. That was really good. I got that from, I think it's called Koala? Koala, maybe? I was worried though it wasn't gonna come. So I did a panic buy and bought some cheaper ones from Amazon. And I will get him to try these out as well because if they end up being just as good and they're cheaper, it's another place to get them. But they, they're very similar, but they just don't feel as comfortable. I wrapped that and then Tom's book came out last week. So I got him, I can't keep calm. I'm an author mug from Amazon. And then what have I got in from here? <laughs> I don't know what. I've got something else to do with this book coming out. Oh yeah, I got him a t-shirt that says, oh, you got time to spare? Ask me about my book, which is such a Tom thing. And then he's got loads of other presents that I've wrapped. And he's got those walking boots I showed you previously in one of my videos. And it's all gonna go in this bag because Tom's doing a lot of traveling at the moment. So I've got him a big Nike sports um, traveling bag rather than him using mine. And I'm gonna wrap everything in there. So that's Tom, that'll be Tom sorted. And then what else did I get? Oh yeah, this came through the door today. This we got for our nephew, Freddie, and he's so cute and he loves dinosaurs. So we got him this thing that's like, you roll it out and it's a mat of water hills and you get trees, you get dinosaurs in, and you can like play with the dinosaurs. Hopefully he likes that. I've gone kind of rogue as well with that. I didn't ask his mom what he'd like. I also got Tom this, which is a French Connection shirt from ASOS. By the way, guys, they had a really good deal on French Connection shirts, because normally they're like 50 quid. And I got um, some of these in the sale, and this is super soft, actually. And I love Tom in a block, block color at the moment. Tom always wears checked and striped. Don't get me wrong, look, looks good. But I wore a block green the other day, and I was like, hey. You're my husband. I had to go and get more wrapping paper because I ran out and I'm actually a bit devastated because I bought recyclable wrapping paper this year and recyclable bags and everything. I thought I'd bought enough, but I hadn't. So I had to go back today and unfortunately these aren't recyclable, but I did try and save the planet. I just ran out. This is a scarf for our godmother. I'm really, really close to my godmother. I absolutely love her. And this is super soft and it's like an aesthetic kind of scarf. And to go with the scarf, me and my sister also got these Clarin uh, candles. Clarins is always really nice and she loves the smelly things, so that's perfect for her. So that's for my godmother, from me and my sister. What else have I got from Next? I did one big order from Next, but they all arrived in the store in different at different times. So they've all come in separate bags, which personally is just too much bags and plastic for my liking, but Hey ho, each to their own. 
Oh, so I bought this for my friend's son. I bought him a Christmas jumper last year and he looks so cute in it. And he's worn it quite a lot. So I was like, I need to get him another one that he can wear for a couple of years. So I always size up. But how cute is this? How cute is it? Hey, so cute, it's got Rudolph on. <laughs> Hopefully you like that. I know it's pretty boring for kids to open that, but it is cute, it's got Rudolph on it and he could probably wear it Christmas day. What do I have in my packages? And I have to be wary of time because I need to wrap Tom's before he comes in. Then I got these cute wine glasses. So one's for my sister-in-law and one's for my sister. And they're wine glasses that say, finally. Like, finally, it's finally. Like, finally it's Friday, get it? Get it? Yeah, so I got them, they were really cute. They were a four pound from Matalan eat. This I'll have to show you on the slide because the dog is here. This is a little dog gift. I don't know if I'm gonna give this one to Bella or whether I'll give this one to Moon, but I have a few dog teddy present things. So I need to wrap them for them. Yes, I wrap them and me and Moon wake up on our own on Christmas morning. So I always say, morning, Merry Christmas. And I give you a present, don't tell one. Yeah. I also got this book for my sister it's just a cute notebook with a c on i know it says the price on but she won't mind i got her that just to add to the little gifts as well because i've got my sister a jumper dress a dress but she's tried them on so you just want to get some like little bits that they don't know you're getting it's starting to look like santa's grotto over here <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna wrap them all. I need to keep space for wrapping. <laughs> Normally I'd put Christmas music on while doing this, but I think I'm just gonna put a TV program on. I'll pop you down here so you can wrap the presents with me and hopefully we'll have Tom's done before he comes home. <laughs> I'm being a Christmas elf. I haven't done the chips yet. Say hello. Hey, yeah. Hello. Hello. Wow, you've done a lot. Yeah, I know a lot. You're smashing the PJs. Yeah, well, it's, we're gonna, I want to felt all with you in my PJs. Oh, dear. Have yeah. I got to look good as well? Right, you just got to look not pooey. <laughs> not pooey. wants to say hello not to pooey. you, but she can't get to you because she's scared of presents. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the wrapping complete now. Just got a couple of Tommies to do, but he's fast asleep for now. So I think it's bedtime for all of us. Good morning guys. It is Wednesday, the Wednesday before Christmas. And I'm up early because I am getting ready to go wedding dress shopping with my sister. She's already picked her dress. She was actually meant to get married before Tom and I. So we're gonna go retry it on. We haven't tried it on for like, oh god, ages. So I'm super excited to see her in it. Then we're gonna go back to my mum and dad's for some lunch. I love this time of year because I get to spend my time with my family. It is so nice to see everyone. I mean, we are really close and we see each other as much as we can anyway, but this time of year just means we can all be together and yeah, just make memories, I guess. So I'm gonna quickly get ready. I'm just in my bra and jeans at the moment and I'm gonna go and decide what I wanna wear next. Quick turn around now because my mum's coming to get me soon. As you can tell, I'm not very good in the mornings. I have a really, really hoarse throat. But hopefully next time I bob on, I'll be a lot more awake. <laughs> it's a no makeup kind of day today. Um, one, because I can't bother, and two, because standard brushing. Um, I'm gonna have just a quick bowl of cocoa pot. Because I don't know what it is these days, but since I was poorly, I can't function in the morning without having something to eat. I used to be able to go to like 12 some days. Not at the moment, honey. I've also been asked to show more of what I'm wearing. This coat is from Misguided, I'll link it below. This jumper's from ASOS, but it's a Stradivarius jumper, and oh my god, it is so soft, and this cable fit and big turtleneck, I'm just feeling. And then these jeans, I have no clue where these jeans are from. I want to say new look. And then this belt, Misguided, and my trainers are Adidas. So yes, this is my little comfy outfit for the day. I'm actually ready first, would you believe it or not? She's still not here. We are waiting, so when are winner. Check out there. You know it's Christmas when they've cooked the gammon. <laughs> <laughs> How did your dress fitting go? It was very good, thank you. Thank God that Joe was there. <laughs> and you picked a veil. 
I did pick a veil. How exciting. It's very dramatic. That's what it has to be, it's your wedding. Of course, of course. We are back now at the fans and we are going to have a lovely lunch. I think we're going to have gammon gnocchi, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Gammon gnocchi! Is someone else who would like gammon gnocchi? Oh, <laughs> baby can't have gammon gnocchi. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlotte and Thomas stay in, so. <laughs> I've literally been home about five seconds and it's not taking me long to get ready. I also apologise in advance for this video because I feel like it's going to be very, like, snippy. But hopefully it'll work. Out. I'm sorry I don't film more when I'm with my family but sometimes I just want to be present and yeah not focus on the camera too much but I will try and do more over Christmas but I did actually just got home and I ordered myself a little Christmas present because I saw it too late and it was too late to ask anyone for it and also yeah it was just a little thing that I saw that I was like oh my god I want it so this planner and it was just a bit of me another simply grateful book and I'm going to start filling that out every day in the new year and this is the one I'm excited for it's a simply organized online business planner comes in a lovely box and I went for the kind of lilac -y, gray one so it's big You've got plenty of room to write lots of cute quotes there's a year planner which i live for year planners absolutely love a year planner and Ooh. there's like team goals name and their goal unfortunately i'm just a one-man band but i will use it and then this is the actual planner so january i don't know if you can see but you've got your days and then you've got your weekly goals you've got your priorities for this week and then you've got like the separate days there and that is for your social media planner so that's perfect for me so i can work out when i'm going to post what i'm going to post when i need to get new content who i've got to call an email this week and this is perfect because i'm going to start working from home as of next year officially we're going to try and really excel our home business and i'm going to just take over that and work on that i'll show you more of it if you guys want later on in the year or if you want like a separate video on how i organize what i do journal wise and planning and manifesting and all that jazz i can do a separate video on that so i did treat myself i was doing lots of christmas shopping for the people and i just saw that and it popped up on my instagram and i was like you know what that's actually something that will help you grow as a person help you grow business wise and it's like a little thing that i love doing so yes a little cheeky purchase i don't actually think you should buy yourself anything before christmas because you get spoiled so much but i had to treat myself with that little purchase anyway before i rumble you guys to death um on how much i love organization i've been shopping because i had a bit of panic i was like oh my god i've got to feed tom tonight we need food for tomorrow i'm seeing the girls tomorrow so i needed some like little treats and nibbles like a panic shop does anyone do this around christmas because when you're going to other people's for christmas you don't really have like the leftovers or the stuff to eat in the same way is that just me so i'm a bit like oh i need just some food i've done really like a cheap buy and not bought that much healthy stuff but i've bought like a pizza a frozen pizza in case we're stuck to eat one night i've got some risotto bits i've got some stuff for a stir fry um and just little things like that because I always panic, oh my god, if the shops are closed and I've eaten out for Christmas dinner and then I have nothing, that is not okay. Your girl has got to eat. I'm going to unpack this. I've decided to run myself a bath, but before I get in it while it's running, I'm going to write out what I've got to for Christmas because I got him like so much more than i was expecting to i only try and do like rhymes so he can guess what the present is but i don't know if i have enough rhymes in me this year but i'm gonna sit down now write them out and like have a brainstorm i think that's what we're gonna do now before i go in the bath now and i will see you tomorrow bye happy christmas eve eve moon happy christmas eve, eve. <laughs> should we show the people what i look like when i just wake up <laughs> this is my hair when i just wake up it's not a look is it we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna have some breakfast i'm gonna finish 
tagging the tags onto Tom's presents, wrapping them, and then I'll chat to you while I'm eating and more alive and don't look like Hagrid. I look like Hagrid, don't I? I look like Hagrid. Today is also gonna be a house job day because I have to empty the dishwasher. I've done a load of washing there, but I need to unpack that from the dryer, and yeah. You're just gonna come along and have a Christmas organization day with me because I think we all have organization days around Christmas because we know we're gonna have visitors. So our house needs to be tidy. And yeah, it's just gonna be busy. So we've gotta get our lives together, people. We've gotta get our lives together.